Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Those of you who like alchemy, those of you who like alchemy, I'm making a quick little video to take a look at that rebalance, okay? Probably just a quick 10 minutes to look at a little bit of the rebalance. I like alchemy, okay? I like alchemy. I'll tell you why I like alchemy. This game settles into the meta really quickly. Um, and the reason I like it is because these alchemy shakeups give you something to do while we're waiting for new set drops. We only get four set drops a year, so you kind of have two weeks of chaos while the meta settles, and then in between those other spots, you kind of have nothing of just kind of grinding against the meta, trying to come up with the stuff. Alchemy, we have these shakeups. I like it, man. I like it. I suggest everybody, if you're if you're if you're not on alchemy yet, oh, but the economy, but this and that, just give it a try. Grab a couple of uncommons, get in there, try one of my alchemy builds. Um, there's gonna be plenty of them on my channel. Uh, give it a shot. I really think it's very nice. I, I do think it's a positive thing. We are in a digital format, and this is a digital format um, card game. So coming up April 7th. We have some rebalance, and we're going to see a whole bunch of new stuff getting buffed, uh, and we're going to see a whole shakeup in the alchemy meta. So I just want to go over this for my for my uh, for my all two of my alchemy viewers. I'm kidding. I'm sure there's probably more of you. Um, warriors, which I love. You know I love Boros Warriors. Um, Arm Scavenger is going to make equipment a lot more powerful. Now this is an alchemy only card with Arm Scavenger. Um, Armory Veteran is going to get Ward to life. Dwarf Old Champion is going to gain Ward. It's going to make uh, Warriors a lot more beefy. And Brunor, which is already a very dangerous uh, card, um, second ability now works with Reconfigure. And he's now a 5-4. He was kind of a weak 5-3. He's a little beefier. Um, Alchemy Mardu midrange is going to be brutal, as Stignox said. Yeah, absolutely it is. Goma Fata now counts of Warriors and Equipment. I did like Goma Fata, but she wasn't able to use that much. Cargan Intimidator. Um, target Creature becomes a Warrior, uh, and Target Creature gains 1-1 one, one, and Trample. Uh, fantastic. So they combine the 1-1 one, one and Trample abilities to make him even more powerful. Cargan Intimidator was already powerful. He's more powerful. Cargan War Leader gains Ward. And he gains everybody else ward. They're giving out ward like it's candy on Halloween. Warriors are going to be tough to beat here, guys. Warriors are going to be the one to beat going into some, uh, going into alchemy coming up April 7th. And, of course, Nahiri, uh, Heir of the Ancients. Negative 2 now grabs warrior and equipment. Negative 3 counts as warriors and equipment. Um, they modified Nahiri for her ability. She was kind of the warrior and equipment Planeswalker, I didn't like her that much. I used her a little bit, um, but it looks like she's going to be uh, more powerful now, too. Plate Armor is getting cheaper. That's going to be really useful overall, because Plate Armor is pretty good. And do you know what Plate Armor does? It gives you plus three, plus three, and Ward one. Um, so Ward is getting out more and more buffs to Warriors, absolutely. Now, the other thing that I like here, guys, is Elves. Uh, elves was always strong coming out of Kaldheim, man. Tivar Kel was a pretty decent planeswalker, um, but now he's getting a buff. Now he's getting higher loyalty. Uh, plus one puts two 1-1 one, one counters up to one elf, up to one 1-1 one counter, and negative six becomes uh, a negative seven. Um, Strength is using his secondary ability. They added a buff. He creates green warrior tokens. Now I wanna, um, now I wanna bring this up, guys. Elves and warriors, Naya, Elf Warriors, or potentially Selesnya Elf Warriors, Elf Snow Warriors, could be a really brutal combo. Consider Naya Elf Warriors very, very dangerous. The amount of buffs that they have in Alchemy right now could really shift the whole Alchemy playing field. Even going forward with potentially all the Naya cards we're going to see coming out from New Capenna, I think that come April, come the end of April, May, all of these buffs, if they don't nerf any of them, we could see Naya being probably one of the strongest colors in Alchemy, potentially. Um, Herald Unites the Elves, Chapter 1 now mills 5 cards up to 3. Uh, Eld Elderfang Ritualist, <clears throat> it's a little cheaper, can now return to, uh, to Varkel. 
Skem for Avenger, remove non-token. So whenever an alpha or berserker you control dies, so this room will account for all of the token creatures that you have. Canopy Tactician is now a 3-4. Um, a little bit better because it almost wasn't worth it for the amount of cost that Canopy Tactician was. This is a uh, Lord card, by the way. It gives plus one, plus one to all elves and generates a lot of mana. So it's a mana rock and a Lord card. So that really is a mono green mana rock and Lord card for elves. Very useful. Herald King of Stemfar now looks at seven cards from five. Not too bad. I don't know how good that is. Return Upon the Tide is pretty decent. Now creates three 1 1 elves tokens. Um, Thorn Mantle Striker, eh, I don't know if that's going to be any good. Elder Leaf Mentor, maybe. Elven Bow, it's never been that great. Skem Far, I think, is going to be a little better. And Shirasa Death's, Whith what, Death's Whisper is going to be decent overall. Individual cards, uh, Symmetry Sage. Some people really, really like Symmetry Sage. I think it's an okay card. I used to get a lot more play uh, previously. Um, but I think it's a decent one in the card. Uh, now it gives creature a base power of 3 from 2. Um, it gives blue decks more aggressive options, like anybody's playing aggro blue decks, but hey, uh, more power to them. Spell Satchel, second ability costs 2 to activate from 3. I don't think anybody was using this card. And most interestingly, I'm really, really happy to see this. Um, base Camp, it removes the Enter the Battlefield tapped. They have been supporting probably one of the better mechanics, and I'd love to see it continue to be supported, which is the party mechanic. Since building around the party mechanic is open-ended, we want to see what buffing base camp does to the deck before looking into rebalancing more cards around the mechanic. I like that we're getting more support for previous mechanics, and that's one of the best things that I can say about the alchemy Um the alchemy uh, feature in arena is that we've actually got to go back because the party mechanic was something from uh all the way from zendikar and we actually got some new party mechanic cards and them talking about going back and looking at doing some more party mechanic things doing some more things with possibly even dungeon delving or something like that going and grabbing more things changing things and revisiting some of the old things that didn't get a lot of love you know they were there for one set and then they go back i think that's really good that's why i kind of like alchemy we can go back we can revisit things we have the capability with a digital format it's a bit silly not to use it is what i'm saying so people don't like it because the economy they wanted the refunds i think they did make a big mistake by messing up historic i think that's what really aggravated people the most um i think if they would have not shot themselves in the foot like that it would have been much more better received but warriors and elves ascendant and i think that naya is going to probably be one of the most ascendant colors coming up um of course as a side bonus boros and selesnia being either piece of the pie there so i just wanted to look at a little bit of rebalancing for the few people that actually care about alchemy i care i'm definitely going to be looking at making some more warrior decks i'm probably going to visit you know what else i like i like um uh the dark elf decks that i've done uh the golgari elves too those are really really fun those are really fun um uh really fun decks too so i'm definitely going to be revisiting it there's some really cool stuff to do here i'm interested again it's going to be nice to have something to play with in that long stretch before Capenna. Uh, Capenna doesn't come out till April 29th um, of this month. This, is, this, this video goes out April 1st. So it's nice to say on April 7th, hey, we got a couple of weeks to play with some new mechanics, to, to see a few ways we can play with some new decks instead of just going over the same things um, to shake up the men a little bit like that. Um, you know... Uh, I, I'm actually excited for it. So tell me what you think. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, uh, if you don't, the like and subscribe will brutally, brutally maul you if you don't. That is a kind of uh, YouTube werewolf who is on the light cycle with a robot arm. You can join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash J for our live stream. Goodness, we would love to have you there. We have got a bunch of new guys here. Hello to Electric Spice. He's a new guy. Um, and uh, you can check out my Aether Hub. All my builds are there. And uh, that's going to be it for me tonight. Um, I would love to see you there. I would love to hear your opinions. I, I, I really do want to get some conversation about alchemy. I like to defend it. Um, and I like to hear some criticism because I like to hear some give and take about it. So, um, absolutely. So, somebody said it, they try to shove alchemy down our throats. 
you know, they're trying to launch a new format, so I think it's fair that they really try to push it. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I think people were annoyed that everything defaulted to Alchemy. I think that that was a mistake. Um, uh, the, all the decks are when immediately start a new deck is already in Alchemy. And I think that had more to do with them doing it in alphabetical order than them doing it with anybody. Uh, than doing it on purpose, trying to say that you have to play this deck. So, um, it'll be... It, it, I think that that probably was was what it did but that did anger people occasionally so that's why i always say whenever i mention alchemy i say don't throw your phone into a volcano don't get that upset so until next time guys we're just gonna leave it there um and uh, take a look at some other stuff we're gonna put up some shorts today we're gonna put up some posts um i'll talk to you later my villains and uh yeah happy april bye bye